here's the clover one. It's fall. And it's been as a coolish here behind the orange curtain. So I haven't been watering. And if you look out over this lawn here, you can actually see some of the older parts of the lawn that have just grass in them and no clover because those are kind of yellowish. Here, clover mixed in, it's green. And this grass is also doing better. And then over here, which is a little scrap of like dwarf commuta and stuff, you can see pretty brown. It hasn't been cold enough for this, uh, you know, Bermuda or uh, centipede grass to be going dormant yet. I mean, it's the first day of fall. This is all related to the fact that I haven't, I legitimately haven't watered in a week or more. And, you know, it's been in the 70s, 80s. So you can see here, we actually still getting some growth among the clover. It's all green in here. And then over here, where less clover actually gets some yellowing and less, uh, tolerance of, uh, you know, lack of water. So the clover lawn has many benefits, not just to the bees, but even to your water bill.